Dismayado ang mga Pilipinong caregivers sa mga napapanood na balita mula sa ibang mga news stations ng Pilipinas. Bayas ang paghahatid ng balita, sabi nila. Mula sa maliit na kaguluhan ng Palestine at Israel na sanay dinaan sa diplomasya, ngunit ang Hamas ay nagpaulan ng mahigit isang libo missiles na sinalo lamang ng Iron Dome. Sa dami ng missile na pinatama sa Israel kung kaya't mayroong nakalusot at ikinasawi ng isang batang Israeli. Sa nangyaring ito, gumanti ang Israel sa Palestine hanggang sa lalong lumala ang sitwasyon. Isang Indian caregiver ang nasawi kasama ng kanyang alaga dahil sa raket na galing Palestine. Agad inasakaso ng Israel ang labi ng caregiver, bagamat kasagsaga ng hidwaan, nagawa pa rin ang maihatid ang labi ng yumaong caregiver sa India. Bilang manggagawa ng Israel, sila ay susuporta din sa pamilya ng yumao. Bukod dito, ang diplomat ng Israel sa India na si Jonathan Zadka ay nagbigay ng respeto sa ngalan ng Israel sa pamilya ni Saumia Santos sa larawan kasama ang pamilya ng yumao. Sa kabila ng pag-atake ng Hamas, patuloy na tumutulong ang Israel sa India. Nagpadala ang Israel sa India ng isang kargamento ng mga aparato ng oxygen at iba pang kagamitang pang-emergency na dumating sa Delhi. Ito ay isang tahanan sa Israel na tinamaan ng isang raket mula sa 2,900 rockets mula sa Gaza. Ang mag ito ay kinasal ilang araw lang ang nakalilipas. Sa halip na umalis para sa kanilang honeymoon, nagsuot ng kanilang uniforme para sa pakikipaglaban at protektahan ang Israel. Nakakalungkot maraming Pilipino din ang pumapanig sa Hamas at ipinagdadasal na sana'y mapulbos ang Israel. 30,000 caregivers ang kasalukuyang nakikipagtrabaho sa Israel kasama ang mga estudyante. Humigit kumulang sa mga OFW sa Israel ay nasa gitna ng gyera at nakikipagunahan para makapagtago tuwing tutunog ang sirena. Pagod at takot ang mga nararamdaman ng mga OFW sa Israel. Bukod sa mga OFW, may mga Pilipino din na miyembro ng IDF na kasalukuyang nakikipaglaban, naway gabayan sila at makabalik ng maayos. Sa Israel, may mga organisasyon din na mga OFW na laging naghahatid ng tulong tuwing may kalamidad sa Pilipinas. Nice din ipabatid ng mga Filipino caregivers na malaki ang pasasalamat sa Israel dahil sa kanilang advanced military defense. Dahil kung wala ang mga ito, ay maaaring mga labi na lamang ng mga OFW ang uuwi sa Pilipinas. Bakit nga ba malaki ang respeto ng mga OFW sa Israel? Dahil mayroon silang human rights, health security, maayos na pagkain at tirahan, maayos na trato at may kalayaan. Israel just struck this huge building in Gaza that was used as a headquarter by Hamas terrorist organization. But you should really pay attention to how it happened. Israeli Air Force first dropped a non-explosive device on the building as a warning to all the civilians in the area, part of the roof knocking method. Then our Shin Bet started to make phone calls to Gazans who live nearby and people who rented offices in that building that was used by Hamas. And only hours later, the Israeli Air Force finally dropped the missile that destroyed this building. But the media, of course, will just tell you that Israel bombed Gaza. Don't let anyone lie to you. Share this video. Shalom, everyone. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan here, live. Today, I am, unfortunately, in another city that was struck by another rocket fired from Gaza, central Israel, Ramat Gan. And as you can see, I'm inside a residential apartment. This is the home of an Israeli family that was just having what obviously looks like their uh, Shabbat lunch. And uh, approximately two hours ago, a rocket exploded down there on the street. This is the second story of a high-rise building and uh, a rocket exploded down there. And I want to show you something that we haven't showed you before. Take a look at this. Take a look at this piece of metal. This is uh, hardened steel, usually used in construction. This is the type of shrapnel that the terrorists in Gaza use in order to kill our civilians. It's a massive chunk of steel, and each rocket has many dozens of these type of uh, shrapnel, and that's what hits and kills civilians. Unfortunately, here at the location just down below, if I tilt the camera, you can see these are already, they're all already working to uh, clear the mess, the, the, the debris. Uh, you can see that down behind me. But what, ha what happened was that a rocket exploded 
two hours ago, and unfortunately, with one of these pieces of shrapnel, killed an Israeli civilian, and this is Israeli civilian number 10. 10 Israeli civilians killed by these rockets that are fired by terrorists towards Israel and uh, pushing millions of Israeli civilians into shelter and unfortunately taking a very heavy price on our civilians. So I'm inside the building now and you can see the level of destruction here. This is like uh, 100 feet from where the explosion was. You can see across the street, the windows are totally broken, everything's uh, exploded and nothing's in place. To give you a brief look on the, uh, of the apartment here, I don't want to show any pictures and uh, be invasive, but they were obviously having their Shabbat lunch. And I want to show you, have a look at something that's absolutely crucial. The room over there, you see the entrance, that's the safe house. That's the, uh, the bomb shelter that we have in each and every house in Israel by law has to have a bomb shelter and that is what saved the lives of the people who were in this specific apartment because otherwise they could have been struck by shrapnel like this. Now, people around the world are watching pictures of Gaza and complaining about uh, proportionality and asking questions about the IDF. There are people around the world asking if this is all right, that Israeli civilians are targeted, uh, that Israeli civilians get struck by these pieces of shrapnel. I don't think so, and I think it is definitely time for people around the world, for you who are watching this official uh, account, and you get access to real live information, to speak up against the crimes of Hamas, and against the fact that they have been firing more than 2,300 rockets at our civilians. Let that number sink in. 2,300 rockets at our civilians, and again, I'll reiterate, we're in central Israel. We're close to Tel Aviv, Ramat Gan, They've been, they shot at Jerusalem, they've been shooting at the south, at Ashdod, Ashkelon, and many other places with rockets of various sizes, and they have caused the death of 10 Israeli civilians. Now, against this, this atrocities, the IDF is defending. That's our job, that's what we do. So when terrorists fire at our civilians, we have the Iron Dome that is inter inter intercepts. Sorry, I'm a bit emotional because of uh, the situation here that intercepts more than 90% of the rockets, but we've said so from the beginning, the Iron Dome is not a 100% system. Nothing can be. So that's why we tell civilians, when something happens, you go to the shelter. That's where you need to be, and that saves lives time and time again. But in order to stop the terrorists from firing rockets at our civilians, we are hunting them down. We are attacking their infrastructure. We're attacking their facilities. We are attacking their locations where they manufacture, store, and house their operatives and their buildings, if, even if it is a high-rise building in Gaza. Because if terrorists are using it as an intelligence center or as a command center, then it is a legitimate target. And I can assure you that the IDF will continue to attack these terrorists and we will continue in our mission to defend Israeli civilians. So just for those of you, I see that there's lots of people joining. I'll wrap up quickly with the basic facts. Two hours ago, a rocket impacted in this area in Ramat Gan, central Israel. We're a few miles from Tel Aviv, this location. I'm in a house of, a, of an Israeli family. You can see they were having Shabbat lunch when this rocket Im impacted. This is the type of shrapnel that we deal with. You can see this is construction grade uh, metal, which is absolutely le lethal. And unfortunately, one of these pieces struck and killed an Israeli man who was about 50 feet, more than 50 feet from the site of the impact. Uh, and unfortunately, he died. So this doesn't, uh, this is just, uh, this is horrible. And uh, this ensures that we will continue to operate and attack Hamas and the Islamic Jihad until quiet is achieved and until Israeli civilians can live in their homes safely. I thank you very much for being with us here on this official, uh, on the official account and live here. And I urge you to stay connected, follow our Twitter page, get the updates from the IDF and understand what's going on. Understand that Israel is under fire by, by terrorists from Gaza and that we are defending ourselves and we will continue to defend ourselves no matter what it takes. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom from Ramat Gan. Bye bye.